The Bonerville murders is the name given to three deaths that occurred over five months from September 1990 to February 1991 in Bonerville, New South Wales, Australia. All three victims were Aboriginal, and all three victims disappeared after parties in the Aboriginal community in Bonerville, in an area known as the Mission. A local labourer, who was regarded by police as the prime suspect, was charged with two of the murders, but was acquitted following trials in 1994 and 2006. On the 13th of September 2018, the New South Wales Court of Criminal Appeal decided that the man could not be retried for the murders. On the 22nd of March 2019, the High Court of Australia refused an application by the Attorney General of New South Wales to bring an appeal against that decision. Victims The first victim, 16-year-old Colleen Walker, lived in Sawtell and was in Boroughville in New South Wales' mid-north coast region visiting relatives. She was last seen alive at a party in the Aboriginal community of the Mission, on the 13th of September 1990. She was seen walking away from a group of people at the party and the following day her family reported to the police that she was missing. Despite the family believing something terrible had happened, the missing person's report was not taken seriously by police. No search parties were formed and no formal police action was taken. Walker's body has not been found, although articles of her clothing were later found way down by rocks in the Nambuka River. On oh, the 4th of October 1990, Walker's cousin, four-year-old Evelyn Greenup, disappeared after a party at her grandmother's house. She was last seen by her mother as she was put to bed sometime during the night. The next morning she was gone from her bed. Her grandmother later recalled hearing her cry out in the night but did not think much of it at the time. On the 27th of April 1991, Greenup skeletal remains were found in bushland near Kungurini Road. An autopsy could not conclusively determine the cause of death, but noted that a skull injury was consistent with a forceful penetration by a sharp instrument. On the 31st of January 1991, 16 year old Clinton Speedy Daru went missing after a party at the mission. He was last known to have stayed with his girlfriend in a yellow Viscount caravan used by the suspect on the morning of the 1st of February. On the 18th of February, his remains were discovered in bushland near Kungurini Road about 7 kilometers outside Boerville. A pillowcase from the caravan was located underneath his clothing. Investigation The killings took place in the rural timber town of Boerville. Several similarities between the disappearances that led police to believe that they were committed by the same killer, all took place within the short time frame of five months. All three victims were aboriginal. Autopsies of the two bodies that were found indicate both suffered trauma to the head. All three victims disappeared after parties in the Aboriginal community in Boroughville, in an area known as the Mission. Trials on the 8th of April 1991, a 25-year-old local Boroughville laborer was arrested for the murder of Speedy Daru. He was well known in the Aboriginal community in Boroughville and often attended the parties at the Mission. On the 16th of October 1991, while out on bail awaiting trial, the man was arrested and charged with the murder of Greenup. Facing a circumstantial case, he was acquitted of Speedy Daru's murder by a Supreme Court jury on the 18th of February 1994, the third anniversary of the discovery of Speedy Daru's body. After the acquittal, Prosecutors did not proceed with the trial against him for the murder of Greenup. In 1997, the New South Wales Police Commissioner Peter Ryan set up Task Force and CUD to continue the investigation into the unsolved murders. On the 9th of February 2004, the NSW coroner John Abernethy reopened the inquests into Greenup's death and the suspected death of Walker. On the 10th of September 2004, he recommended the man be charged afresh with Greenup's murder. As a result, he was charged again, this time for the murder of Greenup. The trial was conducted in February 2006. The prosecution produced two supposed confessions made by him, but he was acquitted on the 3rd of March 2006. Aftermath the murders, 
and the fact that no one has been convicted of the crimes is a source of pain and bitterness in the Aboriginal community in Boerville. After the acquittal in 2006, the NSW police minister raised the reward to $250,000 for information leading to the conviction of the persons responsible for the murders. The previous reward was $100,000, and it was only for information related to the disappearance of Walker. In 2006, changes were made to double jeopardy legislation in NSW opening the way for retrial of any person acquitted of a life sentence offense if fresh and compelling evidence was uncovered. In October 2011, Walker's family found bones in bushland near Maxville, New South Wales, but forensic testing indicated that they were animal remains. Application for a retrial in 2016 the detective inspector leading the investigation made a submission to the NSW Attorney General calling for a retrial based on new evidence. In the same month, the suspect said that he was not necessarily opposed to a retrial. In May there was a protest march by the families of the victims and their supporters calling for legislative change to the NSW Parliament Building. On the 9th of February 2017, police laid a murder charge against the suspect, and the NSW Attorney General applied to the NSW Court of Criminal Appeal for a retrial. The Attorney General's application was heard by the Court of Criminal Appeal beginning on the 29th of November 2017. The Attorney General needed to identify fresh and compelling evidence in order to have the man's acquittals quashed and to obtain an order for a retrial. On the 13th of September 2018, the Court dismissed the application concluding that none of the evidence was fresh and compelling and that he therefore could not be retried for the murders. The court concluded that most of the evidence relied upon was not fresh because it was available to be tendered or brought forward prior to the earlier trial of the man for the murder of Greenup. On the 22nd of March 2019, the High Court of Australia refused an application by the Attorney General for special leave to appeal against the decision of the Court of Criminal Appeal, concluding that there was no reason to doubt the correctness of that decision. The campaign for a retrial continues. Media in 2013, the families of the victims worked with Oyuleyi Kamilaroi filmmaker Larissa Barrent on Innocence Betrayed, a documentary film detailing the experience of the Aboriginal families and communities pursuing justice. The film was shortlisted for both a Walkley Award and an Australian Human Rights Award in 2014 and won a UTS Human Rights Award. Dan Box a crime reporter with The Australian, hosted a five-part Australian crime podcast that detailed the murders, released in May 2016, called Boerville. Box also released a book of the same name in July 2019. See also list of fugitives from justice who disappeared list of unsolved murders Lois Roberts. References External links Evelyn Greenup at Find a Grave, The Mission, the Bowerville Murders, by Malcolm Knox, 2011.